Hello and welcome to this electrical principles training video. In this video we're going to build on our knowledge from a previous video where we were talking about the magnetic fields that surround conductors and then we're going to apply that to an experiment that we're going to carry out down in the workshop. We're going to see how conductors behave when they have DC current running through them either in opposite directions or in the same direction. Now this is an issue that often confuses learners because they've been brought up through school with the understanding that when it comes to magnetism, opposites attract. Now that's still true, although initially it may seem to go against what we observe. So what we'll do is carry out the experiment down in the workshop and then we'll come back up and explain exactly why those conductors are behaving in the way that they are. So we've finally got this set up and I'm confident that this is going to work now. So what we've got going on, uh, we've got two conductors that are strung next to each other very close. We're going to run DC current through these conductors. The current is going to flow down this conductor away from us and then at the far end it loops around and the current is then going to flow back down this conductor towards us. So what we should see, we should see a reaction between these two conductors uh, when we put the uh, power supply onto this. So we're going to connect up the DC power supply and we're going to see how the cables behave and then we're going to explain what's going on. So if we connect up the uh, power supply now, right, so not a huge reaction, but a reaction. If we can disconnect, there we go. And now you see how they've drawn back together again and connect and disconnect. You can clearly see there that the conductors are being repelled from each other. When we apply a DC current to this, the conductors are being repelled. So again, we'll just have another look at what we're doing with the uh, current here. So the current is flowing down uh, one conductor and then back in the opposite direction along the other one. And when we pass current through there, we see a reaction. So if we connect the power supply, we can see there that they are pushed apart. And if we disconnect, they fall back together again. So connect the power supply and disconnect. So there we can see that when the current is passing in opposite directions along a conductor, the effect is that the conductors are repelled. So for this experiment, what we've done now is we've changed things around a little bit. We've now arranged our wires, our conductors, so that we've got current that is now traveling in the same direction down each conductor. So in both cases, the current is flowing away from us down this conductor and away from us down this conductor. So now when we connect the power, power supply, let's see what happens. You can see there that they are attracted to each other. So if we uh, release, we can see that without the power supply, the conductors will fall apart from each other and return to their natural resting place. Let's just demonstrate that one more time. So with the power connected, you can see that the conductors are attracted to each other. There is a magnetic field generated that attracts them. And when we cut off the power supply, the electricity uh, stops flowing, the magnetic field disappears, and the conductors return to their natural position. That's because we've got a DC current flowing through these conductors. Let's bring the camera in a little bit closer just to re-emphasize the point. So just to demonstrate the principle again really nice and clearly, in this instance we've now got current flowing in the same direction down this conductor as we have in this conductor. So we've got current flowing in the same direction and let's just re-emphasize the point. What happens when we connect the supply? You can see there that the conductors are drawn together and disconnect and you can see that they are then released and fall back to their natural position. So if we connect again please, so with the supply connected, the conductors are attracted to each other. Very important principle. So we saw some interesting effects in our experiment down in the workshop there. We saw that when two conductors had current going in opposite directions, that caused a repelling effect between the conductors. Now that might seem a little bit confusing at first because we think opposites attract. Well, that still remains true for the lines of magnetic flux. So to explain why those two conductors were repelled from each other, we need to consider the following drawings. 
So as you can see in the drawing that we've got here, we've got our two conductors, the cross sections of those, and we can see that through the left-hand one, current has uh, a cross, so the current is going away from us. And in the right-hand one, the conductor has a dot indicating that the current is coming towards us. So the current is going in opposite directions. Let's have a look at the magnetic fields that surround them. So around our left-hand conductor, we can see that we're going to have a magnetic field that will have a clockwise direction. And in the right-hand conductor, we can see that the current is causing an anti-clockwise magnetic field. And the key to understanding why these conductors are going to repel each other is to look at what's happening in the space in between the two conductors. Can you see that as the magnetic fields come round, at the point in between the two conductors, the magnetic field is actually going in the same direction. It's pointing downwards between the two conductors and therefore you have lines of magnetic flux that are the same. And when lines of magnetic flux are the same, we have a repelling effect. Now what about our second experiment where we had current going in the same direction in the conductors that were lying side by side? Well, we had a situation that looks a little bit like this. So you can see there that in both conductors now, the current is going away from us, just like it was down in the workshop. Now again, let's start to think about why these conductors might be attracted to each other. Well, again, we've got a magnetic field surrounding each conductor, as you can see here. But notice now that in between the two conductors, you have lines of magnetic flux that are going in opposite directions. And now we've got lines of magnetic flux that are opposite, and therefore the overall effect is that they will be attracted to each other. And in reality, what starts to happen is that those two magnetic fields will kind of merge into one big magnetic field. And then those bigger loops of magnetic flux want to shrink down and be as small as they can be. So if those two conductors are free to move as they were down in the workshop, the shrinking effect of those uh, magnetic loops will cause the two conductors to be drawn together, just like we saw earlier. So in summary, let's not get confused by the current in our conductors flowing in either opposite directions or the same direction. We don't want to muddle that up with uh, how lines of magnetic flux behave. When we've got current flowing in opposite directions in a conductor, you end up with lines of magnetic flux going in the same direction and therefore we get that repelling effect. Okay? And then when you have current that is going in the same direction down to conductors lying side by side, the overall effect is that they will be attracted because the lines of magnetic flux in between them will have opposite directions. So let's bear these thoughts in mind for those all important exams that we'll be sitting and make sure that we don't get caught out by questions that need a little bit more thought than usual. Thank you very much for watching.